Hello humans, I'm Yoshi Schiller and welcome back to some more Yoshi's Woolly World. In the previous part, I took on the final level of the game, stage Star-S, that's that level right in front of me. And upon taking on this level, I collected all of the collectibles within it, and I realized that there is one more thing that I have to do in order to properly 100% this game. I had to take on the boss tent, which can only be unlocked after stage 6-8 has been completed. Regardless of how many collectibles you have, you can only unlock this tent once the main game of Yoshi's Woolly World has been completed. In this tent, you can fight each of the bosses in the game. Defeating all of them will get you three Yoshi costumes, and sure enough, I only need three more Yoshi costumes in order to have all of the Yoshi costumes. Each boss, I think, gives you like a special bead, except for the fourth boss, which gives you two special beads, and then when you get five special beads total, you unlock a Yoshi costume. So I'm going to take on all of these boss fights with the help of my green yarn Yoshi amiibo. Also, before I forget, thank you very much, Nintendo of America, for ever so generously sending me this game. This is the true final part of this game, and I wanted to make sure that I properly thanked Nintendo one more time before I completed it. Also, I guess the boss fights in this game are twice as quick, so it's psyching me out. But not to fear, if I have a green yarn Yoshi amiibo with me, I can take plenty of hits because the other Yoshi will just respawn. I've got twice as many tries normally, and if I respawn the other Yoshi quickly enough, I can have infinitely many tries! It's great! And for those of you that might be thinking, Oh, well, using an amiibo in this mode is cheap, Yoshiller. I've been using an amiibo throughout the entirety of this walkthrough, and it handicaps me and benefits me. And I'm definitely going to exploit those benefits. Like here, I got the first special bead, so woohoo! And then upon defeating this boss, I'll unlock access to the next boss, and then I'll just defeat all of the bosses. And in the description, I'll go ahead and link timestamps to each boss fight in case you just want to see how to defeat a specific boss. And if a boss fight ends up taking me too long, I can always cut ahead and show the successful attempt in which I defeat these bosses. Up next is Bert the Bashful! Ah, oh, this guy. Ah, oh, you're such a fun boss. You were in the original Yoshi's Island, and you were in this game, and I defeated you in both games, and now I'm ready to defeat you one more time so I can get that special beat and unlock all the Yoshis. So there were three Yoshi costumes you can unlock in this mode. You can get a bronze Yoshi, you can get a silver Yoshi, and you can get a gold Yoshi. You get the gold Yoshi once you've defeated all the bosses, you get the silver Yoshi when you've defeated about half of them. Oh, I gotta move. And you get the bronze Yoshi when you've defeated, like, five of them or so. I've decided to use the shiny platinum Yoshi because I really want to show that this is the last part of this walkthrough that I've done everything else up to this point and this costume can only be unlocked when you've collected all of the collectibles and all of the levels! So there we go, that's hit number one for Bert the Bashful. I've got plenty of collectible, or pl pl plenty of projectiles, I'm sorry. And I don't have to worry about getting hurt because I can just let the Yarn Yoshi take action. I imagine these boss fights are only going to get more and more difficult, but for now, I am plenty calm. I am plenty ready. I am ready to defeat Bert the Bashful. I'm getting destroyed, I'm getting hurt. Okay, shiny platinum Yoshi is about to die, but I think I can still win this. There are plenty of shy guys. Yes, this double speed is definitely psyching me up, but I've got plenty of projectiles. There's still an early enough boss fight in the game to where defeating it isn't too difficult. No. Oh, wait. Oh, not necessarily what I wanted to do, but you know what? I'll do it. And there we go. Bert the Bashful has been defeated. That's boss fight number two. That's special beat number two. I am ready to continue with my progress in this game. Ah, it's a bittersweet moment for this game now, isn't it? I have enjoyed this game oh so much, and I have gone on and on about this topic in the previous parts. But I did want to say it once more, because this is the true final part of this game. I thought the previous part was going to be the final part, but alas, this is the true final part. Okay, the next boss is... Oh yeah, the Koopa. Not Wing the Koopa. Okay. Anyway, I love this game so much. It is so, so good. But at the same time... I'm also glad to be done with it. I'm super thankful that Nintendo of America even offered to send me this game. I was always going to buy it, okay? I was always going to purchase this game, but I didn't plan to record it for my channel until Nintendo of America said, hey, do you want a copy of this game so that you can record it for your channel? So I'm glad that things worked out. For those of you that actually decided to watch my walkthrough of this game, thank you very, very much. It actually helps me out a lot. I've loved this game so much. Oh, it's so good. It got delayed a bunch of times, and now it's finally out, and it's so, so good. Uh, it's a shame that it finally has to come to an end, but alas, all good things must come to an end, including you, Paratroopa. I got to put an end to you. <sighs> okay, yep, I guess if I keep fluttering, I could take advantage of this double speed mechanic. I don't move at double speed, only the bosses do. Whoa, 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 take it easy there. I can't even get the thing on your back anymore. Okay, just keep on fluttering. I guess if I bounce off your shell, I can gain double height. There we go. Time for hit number two. Hiya. Or that was hit number three. I'm sorry. Hit number three. <laughs> well, either way, hit number three, hit number two. That's fine. This boss fight is over. That's what counts. Woo! Awesome stuff. 
Ah. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so that's three boss fights so far. And there are 12 boss fights in this game, if I'm not mistaken. There are six worlds, two boss fights per world. Okay, here we go. Bunsen the hot dog! That's right, I remember you. You were in the trailers. I remember joking about how your name is Hot Dog. <laughs> Good times. And now I'm ready to defeat you once more, but this time, I shall be a shiny Platinum Yoshi. And I'm ready to take you on. And I don't have to worry about the heart points this time. I can get hit all I want as long as I don't die. <laughs> even, even if I die, as long as the Amiibo Yoshi is able to survive long enough, I'll be good to go. Okay, come here. Yes, projectiles are good, because if I recall, I gotta throw stuff at your face. And I can't throw stuff at your face if your butt is in my face. Get move, please. You're an adorable little dog that spits fire, and you're not little. You're, but you are adorable. There we go. That's hit number one. Oh, I'm sorry. Ground pound on the top. That that part I forgot. Okay, that's hit number one. And then, yep, you're gonna shoot some fire around, and it's gonna be at double the speed. So, hmm, double the speed still looks like normal speed. <laughs> so maybe it was a little slower than that initially. Whoa! Whoa! Bunsen! Bunsen, you need to take it easy, man! Okay, okay, this is not supposed to be easy. This is the boss tent, which can only be unlocked after, you, after the main game has been completed. So, obviously, at this point of the game, I have shown at least some skill. I might not be the best player in the world, but I've shown enough skill to where I can take on a challenge. And I love a good challenge. Oh, man, this might be the first boss to actually defeat me. I'm getting destroyed. But hooray for exploits! Hooray for... Uh, hooray, huh. Hooray for Yarn Yoshi Amiibo goodness! Okay. So I think what I'm actually supposed to do, I keep messing this up, I'm supposed to throw a projectile at him, like, here, before he spits out that fire, and I'm, I'm ruining everything. I am so sorry, humans! I apologize for sloppy gameplay! But alas, if you want to jump ahead in the video, that's what the timestamps in the description are for! Okay, that's hit number two. Figured that much out. Alright, one more to go! One more to go. Whoa, whoa! And I guess the good part about this boss tent thing is that I don't have to defeat all of the bosses in one successful attempt. I can defeat each boss one at a time, and I can tap in a Yarn Yoshi or have a second player. So it is a bit merciful, though I imagine doing this as a single player only thing is probably extremely tedious. So I'm glad I got the bundle that gave me the green Yarn Yoshi amiibo! Okay, Whew. I'm glad I have a green Yarn Yoshi, I'm, I'm glad I have a Yarn Yoshi amiibo, and I'm glad it's the green one. Oh, okay, now I know when I'm supposed to shoot these at you, so okay, got it. Let me put the Yarn Yoshi amiibo projectile in the back. No, oh, okay, that didn't hurt me, thank goodness. Whoa! Okay. There we go, got it! And then, ground pound- whoops, I keep jumping to your- to your nose. Ground pound on the tongue, there we go, two more special beads. Okay, so yeah. Every fourth boss fight gives you two special beads. So that way you can have five special beads total by that point, and for every five special beads, another Yarn Yoshi costume is unlocked. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'll unlock the Bronze Yoshi. I think it goes Bronze, Silver, Gold. I know the last one's Gold, but I'm pretty sure that the other two are Bronze and Silver. So, it'll, I'll see in just a second. Let's see. Anything? Yeah, okay. Got Bronze Yoshi. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Big Montgomery, it's time for round two! I'm ready to take you on! Though, I'll be honest, I don't particularly remember round two. I remember round three, because round three is the snow boss fight, and I love snow levels, and I love snow boss fights. But this one specifically, I don't really remember. Uh, okay, well, let me get my Yarn Yoshi amiibo in there. We'll see as this boss fight goes along. We'll see how much I can remember. This would be the boss of 3-4, right? Oh, I, uh, hmm. No, I'm still not really remembering anything, as sad as that sounds. Though I will get these Monty Moles, because I think I do need to throw a projectile at you at some point. In fact, if I had to recall, I think I have to throw it at you while you're at the top there. There we go! Grand Pound you, there we go, that's hit number one! So far, so decent, I suppose. I'll just keep it going, then. I'll keep up the enthusiasm, I'll keep up the energy to the best of my abilities, and I'll just see how well I can do. Huh. Ah, I'll get all of them. Do I get anything if I get all of them? No. Fine, I'll just chuck stuff at you. How do you like that? I guess this boss fight is a lot easier than I thought it would be. He's just stacking up on these Monty Moles and throwing stuff at me. Well, okay. Oh, oh, wait. Nope, nope. He's doing more stuff now. Bam! Okay, maybe it is as easy as I thought it would be. Well, fine then. That's hit number three. This boss fight is over! And I shall go ahead and take the special beat as I make my way to completing the Yarn Yoshi costume for the Silver Yoshi. Awesome stuff. Woo! Okay, well, if all the boss fights can be that easy and that quick, I'll be done with this in no time. Though... It's already been about 10 minutes, and I imagine that the boss fights are only going to get more and more difficult. So alas, I cannot say that this will be quick. 
Of course, you guys have the convenience of using the timestamps in the description. I'm going to keep reminding you of that. For now, I'm going to fight Miss Cluck the Insincere. Now, I remember you. I remember fighting you, and you had that one attack that blows me off the stage and kills me immediately. And I remember that neither myself or the Amiibo Yoshi could do anything if one of the Yoshis was knocked off. So I'll just have to do my best to defeat this boss. I'm still going to tap in my Green Yarn Yoshi Amiibo. If he gets tapped in, why isn't he getting tapped in? Am I not allowed to use the Yoshi during this fight? Come on, I'm trying to like push the button with one hand and tap in the Yoshi with the other. Am I not allowed to tap him in? Okay. <laughs> it was freaking me out. I was like, why isn't the Yarn Yoshi getting in? Ah! There we go. I got him. Okay. I'm going to tap him in regardless. I don't know how much he's going to help, but I'm going to keep him here anyway. And then I think all I have to do is this. That counts. Oh, wait, no. And then I have to ground pound you. Okay. So that counts as hit one. I have to do that two more times, and I remember for each subsequent hit, I have to eat the little yarn thing at the bottom of you one additional time. So for this next hit, I have to eat the yarn thing at the bottom twice, and then I have to grand pound on you. And then for the final hit, I have to eat the yarn thing at the bottom three times, and then I grand pound on him. You guys will see. I think I'll be okay. Even though I just got hurt, I think I'll be fine. Though it's getting a little more and more difficult to see how I can eat this yarn thing. Ah, I missed! This double speed is messing me up. I guess that's the idea, but... Oh! <laughs> It's okay, I'm not too concerned. He hasn't used that windy attack. There we go. Okay, I have to do that one more time. Come on. Come here. There we go. That's number two. And then the, got a ground pound on this. Whoa. I actually forgot that it moved. Well, okay. There we go. That's hit number two. Okay. Just got to eat that little yarn thing three more times. Then I got a ground pound on you once. Oh, and then this is that windy attack that really, really annoys me because it's like insta-kill if you fall off. Well, okay. Here we go. All right. That's one. And that's, oh, that's not two. Okay, well, okay, as long as the shiny platinum Yoshi can come back soon enough, I'll be just fine. For now, I'm still gonna go for this yarn thing. Come on. Having two Yoshi should double my chances, so why isn't it? Oh, come on. I felt like the amiibo Yoshi totally got that. All right, I'm trying to synchronize the Yoshis. I'm okay. We're good? We're good. You guys are okay. Okay, come here. Good. Safety is the number one priority. Okay, that's number two. Just gotta do that one more time. And then I gotta grab pound on the chicken, and then I should be good to go. Okay. And come on, hit number three. Don't you dare go back. There we go. Hit number three. This boss fight is over, and I've got another special bead. Whew. Awesome stuff. I think I can do it, guys. I think I can defeat all these bosses. No, I know I can. I just think I can do it pretty quickly. I don't think it should take me too long. I'm about halfway done with the bosses, and it's taken me about 12 minutes so far, so maybe... 24, 25 minutes. If my speed is consistent, I can defeat all these bosses. Who's next? Who's the next challenger? Not wing the Koopa round two. Well, <laughs> hell. don't mind if I do take him on for a second time. Back for a rematch, I see. Well, I defeated you in this exact same boss fight before, so I'm willing to do it once again. Here we go. Hi, how are you? Oh, this boss fight. I do remember this, and I remember being somewhat difficult so this at double the speed I only imagine will be twice the difficulty twice the hardest I, I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore okay so oh oh right right okay so you have to go down and hit the spikes at the bottom got it I don't need any projectiles for this fight which is nice I guess it means I well it's both good and bad it's good because I don't have to worry about missing you with the projectile and then worrying about oh this is gonna hurt me yep there I go so on the one hand, it's good, because I don't have to worry about missing you with an attack and then waiting for you to go through your attack cycles again. On the other, it's a lot easier for me <laughs> to die. But thankfully, I have an amiibo here. I've got my Platinum Yoshi here, so I should be okay. No, I don't want to get caught up in another wave. I somehow made it through that time. Okay, cool. Well, I'll take what I can get. Okay, I'm going to make you hit this part again. There we go. Perfect. Hit number three. There we go. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, huzzah. Thank you very much. That's special bead number three. Awesome. Okay. Woo. I'm about to unlock... Well, after I complete this next boss fight, I'll unlock the silver Yoshi. And then I have four more boss fights to go. And then I'll get the gold Yoshi. Though I imagine the baby Bowser boss fight is going to be quite a nightmare. So I'll do my best. Here we go. Okay, so let's see. What is it? Oh, yeah, the piranha plant. That's right. Wow. I don't know how I forgot about so many of these bosses. I guess I really just have been playing this game for a long time since October. Wow. Wow. The, the piranha plant. Yeah, okay. I remember this also being a somewhat difficult and challenging boss fight, and rightfully so. I mean, the piranha plant boss fight was pretty difficult in Yoshi's Island, and it's pretty difficult now. Actually, it's not difficult in Yoshi's Island, but when it's your first time playing it, it is difficult in Yoshi's Island. And when I first played this boss fight, it was quite difficult for me. Okay, so I gotta get a bomb. I gotta spit that in your mouth. Okay. I remember this being simple enough. I think it's like the later hits where it's just awkward. Oh, yeah, and then there's all this. 
making great use of the background and the foreground and making use of the fact that this game is a three-dimensional game, but oh man, this is a nightmare. Okay, gotta get a bomb, gotta get a bomb. I can only hurt him with the bombs. I can't hurt him with anything. Else. Oh, oh, right. Okay, sorry, I keep jumping from topic to topic, conversation to conversation. That's right. Oh, this is the awkward part. Oh, I'm about to lose this. Yeah, you can only hurt him with the bomb, and then I have to get the bomb in his mouth at this part, but just setting that up is a nightmare because I have to move off to the side, jump, and spit it in his mouth. But, because of the... Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, but because this boss fight is at twice the speed, it's a nightmare trying to actually get that in his mouth. And oh my goodness, yeah, okay. I'm starting to see that increase in difficulty. I got it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, this isn't working. All right, gotta get another bomb, and then only the center of the, of the area is gonna be safe. And I'm gonna jump off to the side. Come on, there we go. Okay, hit number two. And then hit number three, he comes from above or something, right? If he comes from above, that's slightly easier, because I don't have to worry about the the arc in which my bomb throwing skills make. I just have to shoot the bomb upward, and that'll count. Okay, come back, Amiibo Yoshi. Come back, Platinum Yoshi's about to die. I'm so sorry, Platinum Yoshi. Oh, he's alive! He's alive! Oh, nope, 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 no, never mind, he's dead. He's just dead. Okay, well, as long as I get a bomb. Okay. So where, where does he come from, though? I don't remember. Oh, 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 whoa. Okay, if I just keep flying. Oh, yeah, he comes from above. Oh, and I missed! The wrong Yoshi had the bomb! Ah! Okay, let's try that again. At least I know he comes from above now, and now I know the attack cycle. Okay. Let's so gotta dodge this a couple times, then spit it up. Boom! And then ground pound. Please don't let me do this boss fight again. Don't make me do this boss fight again, I should say. I don't mind doing the boss fight again if I lose. But, ugh, I'm so glad it's over. There we go, two more special beads, and with that, I shall now unlock the Silver Yoshi! Awesome stuff. Okay, four more boss fights to go. Though, based on how difficult that boss fight was, I can only imagine what some of these other boss fights are gonna be like. I have to take on that mole in the snow level again. There's the one boss fight in the clouds with the paratroop, but there we go, Silver Yoshi. There's Baby Bowser, and then I'm forgetting one. But okay, here's the mole. Yeah, I don't know what the other ones are. Okay, the mole. The mole! This is the snow boss fight, right? This is the one when you come up from the ice cubes that are on the floor, and then I have to ground pound on you. Well, we'll see how this works at twice the speed. And it's a snow boss fight, and under normal circumstances, I love snow levels, I love snow boss fights, but at twice the speed, when I'm sliding all over the place, could be tricky. Thankfully, with an amiibo, I have an infinite amount of tries, and even so, if I lose, I have an infinite amount of tries, and I don't have to worry about getting hurt. But we'll just see. I guess that does make things a bit more fair. The boss fight should be more difficult because I don't have to worry about getting hurt. I just have to worry about dying. In the other, in, in a regular Yoshi level, I have to worry about getting hurt because by the end of the level, I need to have 20 heart points. So it is a bit more fair in that sense. Anyway, okay, so I just have to grand pound on you when you come up. Whoa, that's the first time I've ever actually gotten hurt by that attack. I've never gotten hurt by that before, but I guess there is a first time for everything. Wow, I, I'm just not used to... I'm really just not used to doing this boss fight at twice the speed, I guess, is all I'm getting at. Okay, there goes the Platinum Yoshi. Okay, and then ground pound on this. There we go. Bam. Oh, kind of interesting seeing the shadow for this Platinum Yoshi egg in the background while I do this boss fight. Come here. Okay. You good? You're safe? You're good to go? Thank you. I'll take you. Okay. Now I just gotta know. Okay, so he's gonna ground pound. He's gonna rampage a little bit. Some multi moles are gonna come from the background. I don't have to eat them, thankfully. Okay, that's number two. Number three, ground pound. Okay, and then grab pound on you. This boss fight is over! Well, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so I remember that boss fight enough. And then I think the world, like the final boss of this world, I think was the flying paratrooper. I think. Was that world five or world six? I don't know, that, that's one boss fight I have to do. There's a flying paratrooper and I have to attack bullet bills or something. There's one boss fight I'm forgetting. What is it? Oh, yeah, duh! The Sniffberg. Okay, I'm sorry, the Sniffberg. That's right. I don't remember this boss fight too well, but I do remember this being slightly tricky even without double the speed. So, we'll, we'll just see how I do this time. I will complete it. I just hope that I can complete this boss fight in a quick enough manner. Okay, so here we go. All right, I, I already remember. So you're gonna, at some point you're gonna spit out some enemies. I have to eat the enemies and then I have to throw them at you. And I have to hit you three times with projectiles in order to knock you into the spike. So having the amiibo Yoshi could be handy here in case I miss one of these enemies. Because in order to actually hurt this boss fight, you have to eat all of these shy guys. All of them. Okay, okay, well, I got them all. Okay, so one, two, three, okay. Eat you, oh, and then I had to ground pound on you. I just ruined this, I just blew it, didn't I? Okay, well, at least I have the general gist of this boss fight down. Right, okay, so, I'm sorry, I, I messed that up. So, 
hit him three times, and then ground pound on him. I thought I was just knocking him to the spikes. Of course I have to ground pound on him. I don't know why I thought otherwise. All the bosses have required me to either eat something off of them or to ground pound on them. There you go. There's number two, number three. And I have one projectile to spare. Cool. Okay. Oh, shoot. I did not. Okay, come back here, Amiibo Yoshi. Come here. Okay, come to safety and quickly get back onto the stage before I get hurt and ruin everything. Okay. Oh, and dodging this at double the speed. This is not going to work. Okay. And my Amiibo Yoshi is about to die. Okay, come back, Platinum Yoshi. Come back. Platinum Yoshi. Platinum Yoshi, come back, please. Okay. Well. I shall challenge this boss again. That did not go as well as I hoped it would. But okay. Here we go. Jump in. Okay, but yeah, now I, I I do remember this boss right now, so I just have to get all I don't have to get all three of these because I have an amiibo, but I won't get all three of these because having extra projectiles is nice. Here we go one, two, three. Perfect. And then ground pound. Okay, hit number one. Cool. I've got the swing of things now, and I don't have to waste any extra seconds tapping in my amiibo Yoshi this time. This time, because I've already lost, he's just there already. I don't know if I'm going to be able to dodge this attack. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Okay, but there we go. I seem to got. I seem to be getting it now. Oh, I'm alive. Give me these shy guys. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll probably get hurt again, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, we're good. Cool. One, two, three, and grab pound. Woo! Hit number two. Okay. Now, this is going to be tricky. Again, he's going to do this background thing. I'm probably going to get destroyed by this, but thank goodness I have an amiibo Yoshi here with me. I can't say this enough. If these boss tent boss fights are making you struggle, buy a Yarn Yoshi amiibo or get a second player to join you because it makes things much, much easier, much, much more merciful. All right, and then he spits out a bunch of Shy Guys this time. I only need three, but I'm going to get as many as I can. Yeah, so if I didn't have the amiibo Yoshi with me, this boss fight would be over. Okay, here. One. Two, three, there you go. How do you like getting hit by projectiles while I'm fluttering in the air? Well, yeah. And yeah, if I didn't have this amiibo Yoshi here with me, I would have just ground pounded into the spikes there, and this boss fight would have been over for me, and I would have lost. Nothing says misery quite like losing the last bit of your health right before the boss fight is over. Like, the boss is already dead. You just made a stupid mistake. You fell into some spikes. You lost the last amount of your heart points, and then you can't properly complete the boss fight. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Here's that paratroop, but here's the sky fight. Now, the tricky thing about this sky fight was that this paratroopa slams his belly into these clouds. And each time he slams his belly into the clouds, those clouds disappear. I can fall, and if I fall, I'm dead immediately. Having an amiibo Yoshi here does not necessarily benefit me for that part of the boss fight. It does benefit me for any sort of projectile he can shoot at me. So, I'll just have to see how things go. Plus, I have an extra projectile, and I, if I recall, I do have to use the projectiles against the cannon he has because I have to block up the cannon, and then he'll he'll blow up or something. Ah, uh, okay. This boss fight is much more recent than the other boss fights. Ah, uh, so I should remember it more. You only need one projectile for this, so I guess having the amiibo Yoshi does work in your favor here because the amiibo Yoshi can act as a projectile. Though there's so many bullet bills in this fight that I can't imagine you'll have a hard time getting a projectile. So here we go. It's like, oh, whoa, whoa, hey, ho. Oh. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, let's spit that out. Oh, and I missed, I missed. Ugh. Well, the good thing about this boss fight is that at any time, as long as you're able to hit the bullet bill blaster, any hit counts. You don't have to wait for a specific opening. As long as you're able to hit it, you're good to go. Okay, just gotta get out of the way. Cool. All right, sorry about this Platinum Yoshi. Uh, oh, yeah, that was not smart of me. What was I doing shooting the Platinum Yoshi at him? Dumb me. That was, that was dumb of me. All right, let me just get the shiny Platinum Yoshi back. It's back in action. And make sure he doesn't get hit by the bullet bill. And then we'll... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. The shiny Platinum Yoshi blocked it. And now both of my Yoshis are getting hurt. Come here, Amiibo Yoshi. Come here. Okay, good. We're good. We're safe. We're okay. I mean, we're not necessarily safe, but I'm not about to... I'm not about to start over this boss fight. There we go. Let's hit number two. Grand pound on you. And then I am ready. I am ready for hit number three. Oh, actually, maybe I'm not. Oh my goodness, this at twice the speed is a nightmare. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna get this on the ready. I did not mean to throw that at the bullet bill. I just reacted too quickly, and now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Okay. Well, let me try this again. You know, this boss at twice the speed is proving to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Like, I thought it was gonna be difficult. There's a reason I remember this boss fight. But man, at twice the speed, this is quite a nightmare. Oh, there we go. Yep, yep. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna get that last hit on you. It's gonna happen. 
Don't you be concerned. Ah, that would have been the perfect opportunity to shoot a projectile at him, and I just blew it. Ah! I'm ruining everything. I'm ruining everything. I'm doing my best, guys. What can I say? This is a good challenge. What can I say? It's a good challenge. It's smart that they double the speed, because otherwise this would be way too easy. I'm up for a good challenge. I love a good challenge. Okay, I just have to shoot this at you. That didn't count. Gosh darn it. Ah! I'm not dying now. There we go. Is that it? Oh, please don't push me off. Okay, good. Woo! <laughs> Almost fell off there. Okay, that boss fight is over. All that remains is baby Bowser. So hopefully this boss fight goes well, because even in the original run of this uh, boss, I did mess up several times. So, oh, it's rightfully the last boss of the game. I'm just hoping that I do decently enough to where this doesn't take too long. If it does take a while, I can always cut ahead. But for now, here we go, baby Bowser. It's time to take you on. It's time to get the final two special beats of the game. It's time to unlock the gold Yoshi costume. And it's time for me to finally 100% this game. It's time for me to finally complete this game after starting it back in October. <laughs> All right, bring it on, baby Bowser. I'm ready to go. Oh, baby Bowser at double the speed is already menacing. I mean, even at normal speed, he's actually quite menacing. He's quite a tough boss fight. But at double the speed? Man. Okay, now I just need one projectile to hurt him. So as long as I can hit him with something, I'm good to go. I just gotta wait for the opening. Okay, I'll take some shy guys. Shy guys are nice. Okay, well, this is going miserably. I thought I was gonna do bad, but I didn't think I was gonna do this bad. I thought I'd make it pretty far into the boss fight. I'd get hurt, and then I'd ruin it near the end of the boss fight. I don't know. Oh, and then there's two phases to this boss fight too, so ugh. Okay, here we go. That's hit number one. Okay, come back here, Amiibo Yoshi. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep the Amiibo Yoshi in my mouth so I can just spit him out at Bowser when the time comes. Whoa, whoa, that's right. I'm remembering this boss. I'm remembering this boss fight more and more as time goes on. Oh, oh, that did not hit you. Come on, one of those has to hit you. Thank you. I lost all my projectiles, but hey, I hit you, so that's good. Oh, uh, okay. Well, as long as the shiny platinum Yoshi can come back soon enough, I can get him back. Come here. Please hurry. Okay, thank you. Keep you in my mouth. Oh my good. Oh, oh, okay. Come here. There. Hit number three, and then I gotta do the second phase of this boss fight. So it's not over yet. Technically speaking, this is the easy part of the boss fight. I mean, each part of this boss fight has a different challenge. With this next challenge, I have to eat these giant yarn balls. I have to hit all these bees that are swirling around Bowser, and I have to dodge some attacks. But at twice the speed, this is probably gonna be a nightmare. Dodging him at normal speed is actually quite tough because baby Bowser's blast radius is so huge. But I'll do what I can. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, I can eat that. Oh, eating them takes so long though. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be harder than I'm than I'm than I was initially anticipating. And I was Ugh, I can't even speak. I think I'm just nervous. I can't even. Yeah, there we go. I can't even speak properly. I was just nervous. What I was trying to say was this boss fight is going to be even harder than I was anticipating, and I was anticipating for it to be quite difficult. So let's see what I can do. All right, keep you in my mouth. There we go. I love how quickly things can be done with an amiibo Yoshi. In fact, I would love to see a speedrun of this game in which somebody beats the game with an amiibo Yoshi because it does make things a lot more quick. You get an extra projectile. You can save on the heart points if you're going for 100% and risk getting hurt at the sake of spamming invincibility frames. And, uh, you know, I can get a projectile more quickly. I don't have to wait for enemies to come down. Once, you're, once that phase of the boss fight is over, all I gotta do... Well... Let me try that again. All I gotta do! Okay, you know what? Maybe it's not as easy as I thought. It does make things easier, but it doesn't make the entire game easy. There we go. Okay, hit number two. Awesome. All right, come here. <laughs> Dodging those at twice the speed is a nightmare. But I will defeat you, baby Bowser! Here we go. Oh, whoa, that's right. Yep, yeah, okay, oh. I don't know. I don't know if like you're expected to get through that without getting hurt. Like it's obviously possible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My my amiibo Yoshi's about to. Die. Oh my goodness. What is happening? I mean, I know what's happening, but it's ridiculous. Come here. Okay. Hit number three on the phase two. Okay. So the amiibo Yoshi has full heart points. The shiny platinum Yoshi does not. So maybe it's in my interest. For the shiny platinum Yoshi to just get hit, and for the amiibo Yoshi to just survive for a little bit, while the shiny platinum Yoshi regenerates. So let me try that. Okay. 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 
Uh, which which of these yarn balls can I eat? Nope, getting out of there. Getting out of there. Okay, there. This one over here. This 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 one. Gotta eat it quickly enough before Baby Bowser hurts me. Okay, this works. And then I just have to fling these. Ah, uh, okay, that that counted. That counts. Okay, I'm getting hurt. I'm okay. I right, gotta get some more projectiles. Okay, so. Okay, maybe it's. I'm not gonna intentionally get hurt, but I do think that the shiny platinum Yoshi should take priority in case he does get hurt. It's like, it's like playing backwards from regular boss fights in this game. Because in regular boss fights, I wanted to protect whatever Yoshi had more heart points, and uh, which I guess is kind of what I'm doing here. But oh wait, why is the shiny platinum Yoshi all the way over there? Come back! I need. Oh my goodness, please come back, shiny platinum Yoshi. This is pushing minus isn't speeding this up. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. Uh, okay, that counts. Just a couple more special beats and I'm good to go. Oh my goodness. Okay, taking this. Thank you. Oh, how am I gonna get those things in the back? Baby Bowser moves so quickly that by the time I get to his back, he's gonna turn around. I just gotta fling him, yep. All right, I gotta use one of these arrow things. There we go. I'm going. I'm going. Woo! Okay. Huh. Though I swear in the past those arrow things faced to the right. Oh, okay, yeah, they, so they switch sides every time baby Bowser jumps. Well, it's good to know that I wasn't crazy in the past. Oh, please! Where is the Yoshi? Come here! We're going. We're going. Okay. Oh my goodness. See how much of a lifesaver having an amiibo Yoshi can be? Oh, thank you so much Nintendo of America for sending me the bundle that came with one! <laughs> there we go. Whoa. I guess it's weird just standing here and getting the final two special beads. So the shiny platinum Yoshi will get one, and the amiibo Yoshi will get one. And with that, that's all of the special beads in the game! Baby Bowser has been defeated once again, and now I can properly, I can properly 100% this game. I guess this is going to be an abrupt ending. I don't think the credits are going to play again. I will unlock the gold Yoshi, so that's cool. There we go, gold Yoshi, that's the last costume. I don't think any sort of notification is going to come up. So, okay. I apologize that this ending just feels like it's coming out of nowhere. Maybe there is one extra thing that I have to do, but as far as I'm concerned, I've done everything. So, I guess the only thing I can do now is say goodbye. So, guys, Yoshi's Wooly World is a phenomenal game, okay? I loved every bit of it. And after playing the game for 55 parts, 56 parts, actually. After playing the game for 56 parts, I can honestly say that everything was well worth my time, I enjoyed everything, and it really is just a great game. So for those of you that watched this walkthrough, thank you all so much. Here it is, this is the Yoshi Hut. This is every single costume in the game. I'm not gonna show them all right now because that would take way too long. But I guess that's it, guys. This is the end of my Yoshi's Wooly World walkthrough. It took me a while to complete it, but I'm glad that I did. So for now, that wraps up this walkthrough for Yoshi's Wooly World, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope that I was able to showcase what a wonderful game this is, and for those of you that are on the fence about picking up this game, well, I hope that I made you guys decide that you want to get this game because I loved it. I hope that for those of you that are playing at home, I hope that this walkthrough was of great use to you guys, and I certainly enjoyed making this walkthrough. And once again, thank you so much, Nintendo of America, for ever so generously sending me this game so that I may play it and record it for my channel. And hey, I'm glad that Nintendo of America even bothered to send me a game. And for this being the first game that they sent me, I'm extremely grateful. And of course, thank you all for your continued patience and your continued support. Anyway, I guess I've been rambling on so much. This truly is a great game. <sighs> See you all in future videos. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh.